It's WPGC 95.5, home of the Joe Claire Morning Show, your girl poet, Village I Told You. All day I was giving you backstage shenanigans, the ins and outs, redemption of a dog, the DC stop, and I am with the one, the only, in my mind he's been my uncle for years, I'm talking none other, Snoop Dogg in the building, thank hey, you. Hey, hey, what's up Nisi, how you doing? I guess I could also say DJ Snoopadelic, but we're going to get into that in a yeah, second. Say that. First off, we are in the 25th year of the anniversary of Doggy Style. Mm-hmm. And here we sit backstage for Redemption of a Dog yes. 25 years later. How does that feel for you? Uh, Did you ever imagine in 93 that this is where you'd be in 2018? No, nah, it's all about growth and development, and, you know, being able to expand and to, and to become who you're supposed to be. I think when I first came out, I was exactly who I was and who I am now is who I'm supposed to be. Full grown man, grandfather, you know, dog father, MC, uh, football coach, husband, father mentor all of the above but it had to go through that to get to this i love the fact that in watching redemption of a dog like to watch you go through these steps recover from them and the fact that since i've followed you your relationship with god has always been forefront from doggy style to murder was the case to even till now so while some people were surprised at a right. gospel album right. i was waiting on right. it right. why has it been so imperative for you even given what people believe your narrative to be you kept God first. I mean, I feel like I'm nothing without God. My mother and my grandmother, they raised me that way to where, you know, you take God everywhere with you, through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And, and that's been my situation since I've been in it. I've always been able to manifest, to testify, to let people know that he was a part of my life, that I'm nothing without him. So the shock is that they not right. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're right, you accept it, and you appreciate the fact that a brother trying to get his life right, and he's trying to put some light on something that needs light, love, peace, and the harmony of us all working together. But a lot of times, that's how the devil works, though. He's supposed to pull and nag and grab and throw, you know, monkey wrenches in the game, but the devil's a lie. Now, I found this out that you weren't just starring in Redemption of a Dog. You actually partnered with Jacarius Johnson to bring this to the road and to serve us with it. Partnering, how did that conversation come about? Was it just, I got to speak to the brat when Set It Off was here and she had whispered about Snoop being in a play, but was this something that you reached out to him because you've always wanted to do the stage? Or was it like, hey, Snoop, we want to share your life? You no, know, when I seen Set It Off, I, I was really fascinated with his work. And um, we met and chopped it up and I told him I wanted to do something that was based on my gospel album. And we had somebody else writing it in the beginning and they was just writing it not to the way it was supposed to be written. So I gave him the job of writing it and putting it together the best way he thought. He was like, it would be better if I could use some of your life. And I was like, you can use whatever you want for my life. And then that's when it was able to take on a different you know, direction of where the story is now because he was able to go into my life. Did you have to talk with the missus before bringing the play to the stage knowing that it was going to touch upon some of your life? Or did she already trust that you handle it with class? She doesn't know about it because what it is is more of a... Uh, me giving her this, this is something that I'm giving her. Like when she sees it for the first time, I want her to appreciate it as if it's like a, a gift. You understand what I'm saying? Because I've been doing music and things in my career for many years, but I never was able to pour my heart out to her. Not on a song, not on a project, but like this is like the ultimate way to do it. So that's what this is about. So hopefully she'll get it and understand it, which I know she will. Maybe come down. Like, and now all of you husbands out there, step your game up this holiday season. <laughs> you sending trips. He gave her a whole play. Do what you can do. Now, I didn't know that you were the first hip-hop star to get a residency in Vegas. Mm. So will you be bringing that back? I just like seeing you perform. I just like everything that you bring to the table. I would like to see this in Vegas or Broadway. I think this is good enough to be in that scenario. So we pushing forward. Uh, something that's dynamic to be out there. I don't want it to be nothing basic. I want it to be something like this, which is extraordinary. And of course, before I let you go, I have your cookbook. Mm. I made the flapjacks, the sour mm. cream edition. Mm. I am not mad. I am a bacon lover. Right. So the billionaire bacon was up. Sad. Now, when I'm reading, it was 50 personal recipes of yours. Right. How many are you sitting on? And am I going to get like a boss dog kitchen set? Sauces. <laughs> I like to be nosy. You have everything else. Slippers. You have your own weed. I'm coming with the supplies. Right now what I'm trying to do is get with Martha because Martha is the queen of that. So what I'd like to do is get like an umbrella deal where I'm up under her umbrella the way, you know, be up under her system because she is the best at moving that kind of product as far as I'm concerned. Like her product is like amazing and it's everywhere. 
So I'm trying to get a partnership with Martha. Maybe she's watching this and she is. sitting she at home is. saying, you know, Snoop, why didn't you just ask me? Oh, I'm going to make sure I tag her in this. And then I'll say I'd also like to be a guest on, you right. know, for the on dinner the because Probably I point. cooks. We're coming back season three. I know. I, this is my job. <laughs> Your job is doing <laughs> what you're doing. And I'd be remiss if I didn't ask with everything that you've done. I... I saw an interview with you um, from your West West TV, the GGN. Mm -hmm. Cheech and Chong, are we going to really make Jack in the Weeds talk? Can I get a Hood of Horror Part 2? I just... You want that? Yes. I thought you were going to re-release it for Halloween and you didn't. And I'm like, come on. I got to get with the people. The people that did it, they flaked out on me. So, I got you. You man. know how it is. So, I'm just going to do it myself. That's, that's when it works when I just say, you know, I'm going to put my own money up and do it myself. I ain't got time to be playing the games. I ain't got time to be going back and forth with these games. There you have it. Ain't got time to go back and forth. He got to get ready for the final show right here in D.C. If I'm you living my miss. Best life. Ain't <laughs> going back and forth with these Okay? Redemption of a dog. When it comes to your city, if you are not in a seat, you are missing out. Just you got a lot to period. be smiling for. I just sat with Snoop Dogg in a room full of clouds, and I'm happy. I'm just saying. Thank you, baby. And Joe Claire, did you, <laughs> did you get in this time? <laughs> Or did I Papa got throw you out? <laughs> I'll be throwing out everybody. <laughs>